So he will give us the word, and then we will continue from there. We can take charge. <laughs> Amen. Amen. As few as yes. Amen. As few as ten. Amen. As you may see, my dear. You have heard his name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He's called Brother Hezron. He is saved. And he loved Jesus so much. Because Jesus removed him from somewhere. That no human being could have done that. Yes, Jesus to be praised. So Nikona Swali Ambala in Jaulisa Saraina and Jaulisa Hafta Mafuns Amarta Mobiliam. He is having a question that he will answer, he will ask now, and then even after the service also he will ask that question. Yes, I feel safe. Yes, I feel praised. So, yes, well, I'm with the Papa. Those people, those people, those people who know they are truly, truly saved, they raise up their hands. Truly. You just raise uh, 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 your hand, 100%. Raise your hand. 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 <laughs> God is faithful. Hallelujah. Amen. So, kuna mafunzo nataka tufunze. Leo nataka tunifunze. He is having some teaching that he want to teach us. Hallelujah. Amen. Yesu atoe sifa. Jesus to be glorified. Maybe kuna wengine tume tumekuwa pamoja na wao. There are some people have been together. Wanjia moja mali mingine. In one way or the other. Maybe wakanyona mzuri. But maybe they knew me as a very good person. Ama wakanyona vibari. Or maybe they knew me as a very bad person. But now I want you to serve uh, in the name. this word now so that you may be healed. Yes, I pray. This has to be so. Praised. He will read the, 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 the book, and he will continue reading it so that you may continue listening. You, so, you just to listen. So, now, today, he wants to teach us about salvation. Because many people have also raised hands here. Lakini, but, but he is having some doubts. Yes, I feel safe. Amen. But now the word is going to elaborate more on salvation. Yeah, so, then we go to the, the book of Galatians chapter 5. From verse 6. We read that word Galatians chapter 5 from verse 6. 16. From verse 16. I'm going to read it. Mm -hmm. I read it in Israel now because the majority are, are the people of Israel, but the, the rest can also read for themselves. Basi nasema hivi. Mwenendo wenu na uongozwe na roho. Nani hamutafuata tena tamaza kinunia. Mm -hmm. I want start, us to go slowly. Start to end I don't want us to rush. I'm going to use a, just, a, just a little time, but it will be power. Amen. So, <laughs> the word is saying here now, so that we go according to the Holy Spirit, and then we will not follow the desire of the world. And above here, the, 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 the word says that the, the, the flesh and the spirit they are at war. So, now concerning this battling, now from there, we will be able to determine and say, Who are you now? Yes, I pray. Down verse 17 says. Maana tamaza kidunia kupingana na matako wa roho. Hallelujah. So utakuja upate kwa sisi. You will come and then get from us now. Maybe Sunday unajajika kanisani. Maybe you are needed on Sunday in the church. Maybe kuna fellowship katikati ya wiki. Maybe in the, in the middle of the week there is a fellowship. Na kwa sababu uko na majukumu mingi. Because now you have many responsibilities. Watu wengi uchagua mambo yao. Many people they will select what is blessing them. Wasichagua ya Yesu. They will not select what belongs to Jesus. Yesu ni last option. Because now Jesus becomes last option in their lives. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So hapo ndipo 
a Paulo anaandikia wa Galatia. Now this is how now Paul, Paul writes this to the Galatians. Anawaambia kwamba and he tells them mwili na roho zinapigana. The flesh and the spirit they are fighting everyone. Mambo mbinguni na duniani yanapigana. The things of the world and the heaven they will keep on fighting. Mhm. And then ikasema hivi na mataka ya roho upingana na tamaza kidunia. Na yale Mungu anataka upigana na yale ndunia inataka. The, the things that the God wants they will keep on fighting with the things that the world wants. Mm-hmm. And then it says here. Mm-hmm. Mambo hayo mawili hayafikiani. Kwa sababu hiyo mm-hmm. hamuwezi kufanya lile mnalotaka kufanya wenyewe. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yesu apewe sifa. You have to be praised. Unaposoma Maandiko ya Paulo mali pengine. If you read this uh, scriptures of Paul in an- another an- area. Anasema hivi. He says, mimi nilipendalo kulitenda. What I want to do, si lo nilitenda. It is not what I do. Haleluya. Kwa sababu gani? Why? Mambo ya mbinguni, the things of heaven, na duniani, and the things of this world, pigana. They are at war. So yeye yeah, anataka kutenda mema. He want to do what is Lakini good. Lakini anachipata kwenye mamba. But now he found himself doing what is wrong. Ama ama wa Kristo and the Christians happen people to make it. And many Christians we are there. Roho zetu zinapenda kutenda mema. The, the, our, we have the desire of doing good. Roho zetu zinataka kumtumikia Mungu. We want to do what is right. Lakini tunajipata kwenye yaani kwenye makosa. But we find ourselves doing what is wrong. Hallelujah. Kama mkiongozwa na mnavyotaka nyinyi wenyewe kama mkiongozwa na roho basi amuko tena chini ya sheria. Basi matendo ya kidunia yanajulikana wazi wazi. Uzinzi, uasharati, ufisadi, kuabudu sanamu, uchawi. Anataka urudie alafu sasa niulize swali lingine. Nimenataka kuuliza hapa ehe. Ewe, uadui, mm-hmm. ugomvi, mm-hmm. wivu, mm-hmm. hasira, mm-hmm. choyo, mm-hmm. mabishano, mm-hmm. mafarakano. Amen. Imesha. Kusuda, mm. ulevi, mm-hmm. ulafi mm-hmm. na mambo mengine kama hayo. Nani apatika nani katika kosa kama hiyo? Who has never been found in the things mentioned above here? Sisemi maisha kale. It is not about the old life. No, angalia maisha after umeokoka. We are talking about the life after I've been saved. Nimeuliza kama tumeokoka, si ndio? Yes. Maandiko nataka ifichambue pole pole. Amen. Tujua kama tumeokoka ama hapana. The scripture is so, going to give us details or now. Wa warudia wajasikia. Now now we am going to read this uh, uh, verse 19. Nataka usikize kama uje kuwa mmoja wa na umeokoka. I want you to listen and if you are, you are you, you are not in this category you have not been found on the sins that are mentioned here. Mm-hmm. Then na question mark. Then there will be having a question mark. I read 19. Mm-hmm. Basi matendo ya kidunia yanajulikana wasi. Yanajulikana. Kila mtu anayajua. Hata <coughs> siku hizi mtoto wa wa tu anajua. Even a class two say people knows these things of the one. Na tusianze. Then it elaborates. Mm-hmm. Uzinzi. Uzinzi. Uasharati, uasharati. Ufisadi, ufisadi. Kuabudu sanamu, kuabudu sanamu. Uchawi, uchawi. Uadui, uadui. Ugomvi, ungomvi. Wivu, wivu. Hasira, hasira. Choyo, mm-hmm. m- mambo mengine kama hayo. Haleluya. So nani mwenye ameokoka hajapatikana katika lile kosa? Mmoja wapo. Anybody who is here and he is saved and he has not been found even after salvation on the sins uh, categories here on Galatians chapter Uh, uh, 5 verse 19 I know God you just raise your hand if you have never been found in this since my friend and you have been saved raise up your hand lakini ushajipata ha good amen tutaingia kwa pole pole there is now kuna nafasi ya maswali maybe tutapatikana haleluya there will be time for questions but now we are moving ahead nitawaambia ni kwa nini anawaambia mambo kama i will tell you why i am telling you this matendo ya roho the things of the world now the things of the spirit it, 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 it says mm-hmm. lakini matokeo mm-hmm. ya kuongozwa mm-hmm. na roho mm-hmm. ni upendo mm-hmm. furaha mm-hmm. amani mm-hmm. uvumilivu mm-hmm. wema mm-hmm. fadhili mm-hmm. uaminifu mm-hmm. upole mm-hmm. na kiasi mm-hmm. hakuna sheria inayoweza kupinga mm-hmm. mambo hayo haleluya mm-hmm. mambo kama haya tutatajiwa sasa ruka Wende first John 
Now we are going to First John. Uh, first John. Now to engage us now, how much we are Sometimes many people say that we are we are sel- uh, we are, have been saved, but sometimes we also backslide. Mm-hmm. Now we are we are reading chapter John chapter first John chapter, chapter three verse verse two verse two. Mm-hmm. In a same way, yeah. wa pensi wangu. Yeah. Sisi no wa pensi wangu. Mm-hmm. Sisi ni watoto wa mungu sasa. Hallelujah. Amen. Sisi ni watoto wa Mungu. Tumesema kwamba tumeokoka sisi. We are the child of God and we are saved now. Sasa already tushabadilishwa kutoka yale maisha tulikuwa tunaishi. Yaani mwili ule wa kale. Yeah. We have been changed from our past life now. Na sasa tumepewa mwili mpya. We have been given a new body. Ambao yale matendo tumetajiwa pale. And the things that have been mentioned in Galatians. Sasa atuendeni katika yale matendo. We are not supposed to do those things in Galatians chapter 9 chapter 9 verse 19 to endelea. Na it says here. Mm. Lakini bado ha, haijaonekana wazi jinsi tunavyo tutakavyo kuwa. Lakini tunajua kwamba wakati Kristo atakapotokea mm-hmm. tutafanana naye kwani tutamuona vile alivyo. Tuendelee. Basi mm. kila mtu <laughs> alie na tumaini hili mm-hmm. katika Kristo. Mm kujiweka safi katika kama vile Kristo alivyo safi kabisa haleluya yes afi sifa you have to be study ni funze i don't want to teach nataka maandiko yetu funze i want this that's one why to teach us pole pole. that's why i want us to go slowly haleluya so yule ambao kuna malengo ya Yesu Kristo the one who has the desires of Jesus Christ atasafishwa he will be cleaned akae kama Yesu Kristo so that he may become like Jesus Christ tuteremka hapo mtu mwenye anakaa kama Yesu Kristo nitawaambia Yesu Kristo alikwanga mm-hmm. so that you might know the person who looks like Jesus Christ and he will tell you mm-hmm. how Jesus Christ looked like mm-hmm. then a verse four. Mm-hmm. kila mtu atendaye dhambi anavunja sheria ya Mungu haleluya mm-hmm. kila mtu atendaye dhambi anyone who sins anavunja sheria breaks the law of god mhm mhm maana dambi ni uvunjaji wa sheria. Haleluya. Endelea. Nataka kila mtu ajijuku tu pole pole. Mnajua kwamba Kristo mm. alikuja kuziondoa dambi mm-hmm. zetu na kwamba kwake hamuna dambi hiyo yote. Haleluya. Kwa Yesu hamuna <laughs> dambi yote. If you are in Jesus there is no sin to those people who are in Jesus. Ukisoma hapo juma tumesoma imesema kwamba It says why you have read. Kiwa malengo yako. If you are desire ni kuingia mbinguni is to inherit the kingdom of God. Utafanywa kama haya nitafanywa usafi kama Yesu. You will be cleansed like Jesus. Na Yesu tunaambia kwamba atendi dhambi. And Jesus does not sin. What is your reason now? <laughs> My reason is Yesterday at night. Mm-hmm. I told my daughter, we called my daughter like my daughter. Ana anasema jana usiku aliweza kumuita mtoto wake. So I told her no we stay in Ngong but we need to to go to church today. Ana sema tumeweka huko Ngong lakini lazima tuende tafute hekali leo. She told me akasema pastor is pastor Susan. Akasema ani mchungaji wake ni mchungaji Susan and she she was also said don't be going to church any church that you feel any church where you any, don't be attending any church ani ani mchungaji wake susani akamwambia usiwe tu mtu wa kuzoea kuingia katika maekali na maekali so she she got something like all the just like mwanyaji then he said that if you if you go to churches you now you become like a prostitute sa that thing was like that night i was called her yesterday she's here naye akakasirika na akamuita aje but i'm good i'm glad she has started the camp church though na nashukuru kwa amen amen you see ani alitenda dhambi haleluya amen ni kwa sababu gani why tunaambiwa tu wa pole kama mji wenye wamesoma maandiko ya wa popole kama njiwa na warefu kama warefu kama ni haleluya kuna jinsi ama kuna njia there is a way unaweza muongelesha pasipo asira you are supposed to talk to that person without anger 
sasa tukiingia mbinguni na if you are inheriting the kingdom so of god siku ya mwisho now this is, is, is now is now the the the, the yo, council at the last hiyo ndio kitu tutamwambia mungu will you tell god that now the council of the last day now wata wataita bwana bwana they will call lord lord lakini ufalme wa mbinguni na watu but they will not inherit the kingdom kwa sababu ya makosa ndogo ndogo because of the small small mistakes that's what tunaambiwa that's why we are told tuwe waangalifu zaidi we are supposed to be wise katika hatua zetu in everything we do sije tukamkosea mzo so that we may not sin against him awae yote ule Yes I pray sir. Yes I pray. So brother Edwin. Now our brother eh, 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 Edwin. Tunaambiwa kwamba kuna kuna yani tuwe na hasira. Bible Bible imeimeruhusu. The Bible says we should be we, we should have anger. Tuwe na hasira. We should have anger. Lakini si ya kutenda dhambi. But that anger should not lead us into sin. So kama wewe kuna jinsi ile hasira ilikufanya wewe utende dhambi. If that sin is then led you how to sin. Basi utende dhambi. Then you did sin. Lakini kama hasira yako haikufanya wote yule um akukwazikie ama ufanye dhambi if that sin did not lead you to sin that anger that's for sin then you are okay haleluya yes i pray sir you have to be praised so tuendelee na maandiko yetu nafikiria kwamba iko sawa lakini kama haukufanya mtu wote ama haukufanya dhambi au kufanya mtu akukwazikie vitu kama hivyo uko sawa lakini zile asira tunaambiwa tunaambiwa kwamba tuwe na asira ya kiasi and we should have self control even Kusabu, if you have anger the, the anger we should control kwa sababu kwa sababu ni kitu kinakujanga bila mtu kuelewa because the anger comes that person understand lakini kwa akili zako but in the mind huwa unajua ya kwamba sifai kutenda dhambi kwa asira zako you are suppo- you're not supposed to sin because of anger tuendelee now we continue from verse 7 mm-hmm. uh, ba- basi watoto wangu msikubali kupotoshwa na mtu yoyote mtu atendaye matendo maadilifu ni mwadilifu mm-hmm. kama vile Kristo alivyo mwadilifu kabisa haleluya Yesu apewe siku Jesus to be praised tuendelee lakini atendaye dhambi ni wa ibilisi haleluya yesu amen atendaye dhambi ni wa nani the one who sin belongs to satan wengine wakisema ukiambiwa wewe ni wa shetani if you have been told you, you belong to satan unaanza kuuliza mtu kwani shetani aliniuma then you start asking is, 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 a question did satan create me haleluya lakini maandiko yamesema but the bible says atendaye dhambi the person who sin ni wa shetani belongs to satan haleluya Hmm. I, maana ibilisi ametenda dhambi tangu mwanzo lakini mwana wa Mungu alikuja duniani kuiharibu kazi ya ibilisi. <laughs> Haleluya. Mm-hmm. Yesu apewe sifa. Jesus to be praised. Nasema kwamba pale mwanzo in the beginning mwanadamu alikosa. The human being uh, human being did a mistake haleluya mm. na baada ya kukosa akatolewa katika uwepo wa Mungu and after uh, doing a mistake god removed uh, him from the garden of eden haleluya amen na baada ya pale and then after mwanadamu kutupwa a, 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 a human being to be separated from god kana kikao mbinguni there was a council in heaven haleluya mm. mungu akiuliza mimi nilimuumba mwanadamu I created the human being. Kusudi langu ilikuwa aniabudu mimi pekee. The reason to create the human being was to worship only. Na yani ule upendo wa Mungu ujae kwetu. And now because of the love of God uh, to be abandoned upon us. Lakini sasa nimekwisha mtupa. Now I was separated my, myself from a human being. Are you kotena katika usoni mwana? Now he is not in my presence. Nitafanya nini ama ni nini nitafanya? What am I going to do? Kumrudisha mwanadamu kutoka kule nilio mtupa. To return him back to me. Mpaka mahali niliko. Hiyo kikao ndio ilikuwa imekaliwa. That was the council in heaven. Yesu apewe sifa. Jesus yeah. to be praised. Na wakaulizana and then they asked the question to me na. Whom can we send? aende kukomboa kile kizazi to go and redeem that sinner malaika wakajitokeza even the angels were present there wakasema tukienda pale hawata tuamini the angels said if we go there they will not believe us holy ghost akatokea even the holy spirit he was present 
Akasema tukienda pale watanielewa. He said even if I go they will not. Lakini kukawa na mwana kondoma. Then we had the lamb. Akasema sina any scar. Now I don't have any sin. Niko msafi. Na I'm pure. Nitaenda pale chini. I will go there. Nikukomboe kile kizazi. To redeem that sin. Kwa upendo wangu because of the love hapo ndipo Yesu alishuka and then that's how Jesus na akatujia and Jesus came to the world alikuja katika mfano wa mwanada he came as, he, 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 in a form of akasaliwa kama huyu mtoto and he was even he, 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 akagro kama huyu mtoto and even he grew like a aliena shule jinsi ulienda even he continue with education like alipatana na majaribu yote yale unapatana lakini hakuwahi tena dhambi na baada ya pale after that alikuwa na lengo he had a reason lengo lake lilikuwa gani the reason was this ufanye mapenzi ya Mungu to do good to kufananisha hao watu to bring these people together. Baina ya Mungu na watu. Between God and the sinner. Yesu apewe sifa. Jesus to be praised. Una point nataka uchukue. I want you to take this point. Hallelujah. Amen. So na baada ya Yesu Kristo kukufa, then after Jesus Christ died. Akasema nimekufa and then he said I have died. Kwa sababu ya dhambi yako. Because of the sins. Si kwa sababu ya expand ya maisha yako. It is not because of you to spread prosperity. Tunafaa kuelewa kitu kimoja. We have to understand. Most of people and what went wanakuja kanisani they come to church wengine kwa sababu ya magonjwa because of the sickness wengine kwa sababu ya shida because of some problems. wengine kwa sababu ya taabu because of some Lakini persecution kwa sababu Yesu alikufia but that is not the reason why Jesus died for us Yesu apewe sifa Jesus will be praised sababu ya Yesu Kristo kukufa the reason why Jesus died ilikuwa it was this ulikuwa umeandikiwa kifo because you are somebody who's supposed to die from ubadilishwe now to change you from that peo zima wa milele that you may be given eternal life hallelujah hiyo ndio ilikuwa sababu ya that was the reason of jesus lakini kanisa mingi for now but now many churches nowadays wameanza wameanza kuleta mambo ambayo Yesu Kristo si maadili ya Yesu Kristo they are bringing the teaching that are against hallelujah the teaching of jesus na mtu akitoka hapa kena mali if somebody comes from this ameenda kwa sababu ya ugonjwa wake somebody is going to si kwa sababu ya Yesu Kristo you are not going to jesus si kwa sababu ya kumpokea Yesu Kristo not to receive jesus lakini kwa sababu apone you have to go to jesus because you want some things kwa sababu hakule because you want to eat Yesu akalisha maelfu and Jesus fed thousands of people na baada ya kulisha and after feeding them akaenda zake and he went na baada ya kwenda zake and after leaving siku ile nyingine the following day akaona mkutano mkubwa and then he saw a very unakuja mahali alipo akauliza <laughs> and then he asked nyinyi amkuje kwa sababu yangu you are not coming because of unakuja kwa sababu nililisha jana you are coming because Ili of the bread of because of the bread of, of, the bread of yesu yesu you may eat again so kuna maana kuna watu ambao wanakuja kwa yesu kristo si kwa sababu wampokee yesu kristo si kwa sababu ya uzima lakini maisha yao yapandishwe so that they may prosper mambo ya mwingo the things of the world hapo ndipo tumesoma that's why now mambo ya roho the things of the mambo ya dunia and the things of the flesh they are pigan they are not together haleluya yesu apresi jesus to rest so where well, mali ambapo umetoka now you why you have come from mimi sijui mali umetoka i don't know why you have come from umekuja hapo kwa sababu gani and i don't know why you have come here mali maybe unashiriki and why you fellowship unaenda kwa sababu gani what you go because of what haleluya yesu apewe sifa jesus to be praised kwa sababu ikiwa malengo yako ni yesu kristo if your desire is jesus na malengo yako ni kuingia mbinguni and your desire is to inherit eternal life hakuna kitu chochote kile nothing else kinaweza kikakuzuia you will separate umpata yesu kristo from jesus christ iwe ni nja even if it is going to be hunger iwe hauna makao even if it is going to be lack of things iwe hauna lote vile even if it is going to be lack of needs maandiko yanasema kwamba the bible says ikiwa watawatupa hivi even if they are going to abandon you ikiwa watawadharau even if they are going to despise you kwa sababu yao because of jesus wewe ufurahia you are supposed to be happy haleluya ikiwa watakutupa hivi if they are going to abandon you ikiwa anasema hapana huyu atumtari even if they will say they don't want lakini ni kwa sababu ya Yesu that it's because of Jesus Jesus anasema ofurahi Jesus says be happy haleluya <coughs> kuna kitu tunakiita kulipia gharama there are some things we call paying the cost na watu wengine tunaimba si tunaimba hiyo ya 
Yote halimaliza si ndio that song hmm? hallelujah mm-hmm. do the, do know the meaning ama unajua sababu unajua sababu ya wewe Yesu kusema ya kwamba imekwisha that the all has been finished on the cross not your problems ah, 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 ah. <laughs> hallelujah amen <laughs> Yesu alikuwa na mission Jesus had a mission ya kwamba that mimi kwenda pale katika dunia so that i may go to the world ni kukomboa hii kizazi to redeem this sinner kufikia Mungu so that this sinner may na akamwambia akamwambia Mungu and then he told God yale ambayo uliniangiza and what you told me imekwisha i have already fulfilled it kumaanisha shida zako zimekwisha it was not your problems hallelujah <laughs> yesu apesi amen na watu wengine wanataka mtu mwingine agaremike that there's some people want another person to have that cost wow wow how to come and the, the, uh, for, for them lakini wanataka kufuata the process and what those people they don't want to follow the, the right procedure hallelujah mm. yes, sir, yes, sir. yani gharama the cost ulipia gharama yes, yes, the cost <laughs> Yaani nataka tu tujifunze polepole. I want us to learn this yes, is amen. Ikiwa Mungu anaruhusu, if God will allow. Siku zinakuja tuwepo pamoja. The, the, the coming days we are going to be together. Tutajifunza amen. We will learn more. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Lakini kwa mapenzi yake. For his own will. Yesu apewe sifa. Amen. When when umeniambia umeokoka. Many people have said that I said. Lakini umekombolea. Are we being delivered now? Hallelujah. Amen. Mimi nilikuwa msharati I was a fornicator. Na nikaingia nikaokoka. And then I received salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Na after kuokoka and after receiving this salvation. Kuna the process. Then there is a process you are supposed to follow. Yaani ile njia ya kufuata yaani jinsi ya kuokoka, jinsi ya kukombolewa. Then there is a procedure after receiving Jesus you are supposed to follow so that you may be redeemed. Kwa sababu yale mambo nirudia because those things that you said Unirudia the things that you repeated yourself. Maandiko nasema the Bible says. Ikiwa pepo litaondolewa kwako mmoja. If one uh, one demon will come out from you. Ubaki safi and then you remain holy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ila pepo litaenda kuzimu. The, 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 that demon will go to hell. Kuna wasomaji si ndio kuna maandiko kama hiyo si ndio? Ah it is there. Wao wana na msome Bible. You should not be carrying just the Bible like a story book. You read the Bible instead. Hallelujah. Yes. So, uwe inaenda kuzimu. This demon goes to to Inachukua mapepo mengine saba. Then it takes under seven demons. Na inarudi kwa Justus. Then it comes to you back. Ile pepo ilitolewa. The 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 one demon that get out. Maandiko inauliza. The 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 scripture says. Ingia yule mtu and then if it returns anakuwa mchafu kiasi gani and then if it is sent you with another seven demons then you become worse hallelujah Amen. that's why unaona wa kristo wengi that's why you see many christians wakiokoka when they are, they are wako outside. na moto they have that fire hallelujah they are radical men yani wako sawa they feel happy yes, they enjoy it lakini kwa muda utaanza kujiuliza but in the in, in the meantime you see what is happening with you what's happening with this brother hallelujah Nini kinaendelea kwa yule dad? What is happening to this sister? Yaani ameharibika ni kuliko venye alikuwa ameharibika. Now you, you become worse even more than the way you were. Hallelujah. <laughs> Nini kinaendelea kwake? What is happening to this person? Vile pepo lilitoka moja. The one the one demon. Niliyenda kuzimu. Went to to, to hell. Nikakuja kama ilikuwa pepo na usharati. If it was a a a demon of the pepo ya uo ya uongo. The 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 seven spirit. Yaani mapepo saba. Now the seven spirits are on you. Sinakuingia. Then it enters you. Yule mtu anakuwa ameharibika. Then it become worse. Tunaanza kuuliza. Then you start asking yourself. Yule ni ndugu wetu. Is this uh, our brother Hezu? Hai. Hapana. Amebadilika. Then you have changed. Hallelujah. That's what tunaambiwa. That's what we are told. Mtu ambaye ameokoka, somebody who is saved. Na achukue maisha ya Yesu Kristo. Now he takes the life of Jesus. Yesu alitembeaje? How Jesus came? That's why alikuwa mfano. That was Jesus is Sisi an example. So that we may follow. Jesus. Najua najua Yesu Kristo alitoka na miaka 9 akatoroka akaenda kanisa. Now Jesus Christ 
went to the church when he was having Na kutoka hapo akaanza kutenda mapenzi ya Mungu. And then from there he started doing Kwa sababu lengo lake lilikuwa kuja kufunza kanisa. Because his desire was to come and Na baada kufunza. And after teaching the church. Asulubishwe so that he may be crucified. Na kazi yake itakuwa imeisha. And his work will be finished. Na itakuwa imeandikwa. And his work will be written. Na sasa wao nao tunaandika. And that's why we are writing. Ama imeandikwa. And that's why it's written. Hallelujah. Lengo lako wa kuokoka lilikuwa gani? You are reason to be saved was what? Mm-hmm. Mwingine ni tasa. Maybe you are barren. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Sababu yake kuja kanisani ni niwapate mto. You are coming to church that you may Hallelujah. be a son or a child. That's why unasikia pastor huyu anasema kwamba usio prostitute. Hallelujah. That, that's why you see that the pastor is saying do not become a prostitute. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Na kuja unapata anatoka kwa kanisa huyu pastor si si si. You are you going from this church to another church. Huyu pastor si powerful. Anaoa kwa kanisa nyingine. Go to another church. Huyu si powerful. Anaenda kwa kanisa nyingine. Huyu ni malaya. That is a prostitute. Hallelujah. Because he's looking for miracle. Yes, I'm Pacifica. Amen. Mimi sina haja ya kwenda mahali. I don't have the desire to go anywhere. Ikiwa nimetuma kwa Justus kama pastor. I've been sent to Justus as a pastor. Mimi nitakaa hapo. I will sit there. Hadi Yesu Kristo so that Jesus Christ amshukie. May, may, may do his will. Unajua unajua kitu kitu sisi wa Kristo imetukosa. The problem for the for the Christ. Nikuwa na haraka. That we are we, we, Hallelujah. We want the Na Mungu aendange Mungu aendange haraka. It is not like that. Kuna vitu yeye Mungu angalia. God will do things. Anaangalia uvumilivu wako. Anaangalia jinsi unaopenda. You look at it at your at your love. Kuna kuna mtu anaweza kuja hapa kwa akwambie nipatie 50k na umpe tu shika ni. Can somebody come to you and ask you 50k? Oh, you give that give you can not ask the question. Hata kama ni rafiki wako. Even if it's a friend. Kwanza utamwangalia. You have to investigate Je, this person. Utaanza ku kujunguza eh. You have to inspect this person. Ikoaje kabla ya umpe? Haleluya. Ina ndio tukuiso iko. Even that's how Christ. Haleluya. Tukiingia pale katika maombi na, na, na baadaye kuna maombi kuna, kuna maombi tofauti tofauti kuna maombi na different types of prayer na kuna hombi. We need prayer. Lakini kuna mambo mengi. Bado tukianza kufunza hapo tutaenda mpaka jioni. <laughs> Haleluya. If we start to get into a good mood, nataka tuchukue point moja, sikuwe mingi. Just take one point. Tuanze ku stress. Mm. Haleluya. Amen. Kuna maombi na kuna hombi. There are prayers and there's a prayer. Haleluya. Prayers and a prayer. <laughs> Unajua ni kwa nini Yesu Kristo? You know why Jesus Christ? But bado tuko katika mfano wa Yesu Kristo. Yeah, we are just in the example of Jesus. Yesu Kristo ni kwa nini alikuwa anaingia tu kwa mkutano pa? Anasema bwana itendeke.